Hey everyone, it's Mike the Star Turtle, and today I'll be reviewing King Boxer, aka Five Fingers of Death, Hong Kong martial arts cult classic. Chi Hao is the top student at his own backwater martial arts school, but when his master sends him to a much more elite school, he quickly learns that despite being the top dog in his own hometown, he still has quite a lot to learn. But he eventually proves himself and starts to learn the, the school the elite school's top secret move, the Iron Fist, or Iron Palm, depending on which version of the subtitles you have. My DVD version says Iron Palm. But, uh, as a result, he, he, he decides to represent the school in this big competition that will supposedly decide the top martial arts school in all of northern or southern China. I don't remember which. It's been a while since I've seen the movie. But, half of China. And there's this rival school run by a total, total complete piece of shit with an even more shitty person as his own son who want to win the competition for themselves and are willing to do pretty much whatever the hell it takes to do it. Even if it means cheating and murdering people. Now, this was the first film, the first Hong Kong martial arts film to gain a, a cult status in the U.S. And we'll actually get at least a theatrical release in the U.S. Like, like a year before, came out a year before End of the Dragon, of course. It was overshadowed by End of the Dragon. Um... When that came out, personally, I, I, I like another Dragon. I think this is a better movie. Uh, not that, not, not to hate on Bruce Lee. Bruce Lee is still awesome, but I'm, End of the Dragon is not, it's not as far from his best movie in my opinion. But anyway, we're not about talking about Bruce Lee. We're talking about King Boxer. But yeah, this this is a pretty awesome film. Um, it get, it gets more complicated. There are other characters and subplots that I won't spoil here. Um, but. But this actually does serve as a pretty good introduction to Hong Kong classic martial arts cinema. If you've never watched uh, like a saw a Brothers movie from like the sixties and seventies, um, or even Hong Kong martial arts in general, if you've never watched one of those types of movies, this is a good movie to start out with. Like seriously, it's tight, tightly paced, ninety minutes, and it's just, despite all the all the stuff they cram into that ninety minute runtime, it never feels convoluted or or too drawn out. The action scenes are pretty cool for the time. Um. Yeah, it was actually directed by a Korean director, um, Ch Chang Hua Chung, and he actually is pretty innovative. Uh, like he, like he, like one thing he, he, I'm pretty sure he came up with this. He's credited as it. Guy came up with this, but when people would, would um, hit the floor during a duel, during a martial arts duel, when they use the slow motion camera, they, before before they do that, they cover the floor with dust. So when you see it, see the guy hit in, in slow motion, it kicks up a lot of dust, giving the impression that, the, that he hit the floor way higher than than he actually did, which is works pretty well. And a lot of a lot of movies would use that sa that same technique um, afterwards. Yeah, this movie came out in. 73, I believe, and it was, although as big of a hit as it was over here, it was not, not a very big hit, um, over, over there, like, a lot like Five Daily Venoms, big here, but people in Hong Kong just didn't, just didn't get her, just, I don't know. Um, the star of the movie, Lo Lai, they were trying to, try to make him the next big star in Hong Kong, but, like I said, the movie wasn't successful over there, so... Uh, probably the most notable thing he did afterwards was playing the main villain in 36 Chamber of Shaolin. And you'll, you'll also, you'll, you'll probably recognize his face if you've seen a lot of Jackie Chan and Samuel Hung movies. He's in a lot, a lot of their movies too, as, usually as bit parts or as one of the stunt team. Uh, so it's, it's, it's a shame, because he's, he's a pretty cool performer. Like, he, shame he never got big. But he's really good in this. At least he'll always have this to his credit. His one big starring role. Uh... A lot of other notable Hong Kong character actors, including the main villain, whose, na whose actor's name I forget, unfortunately, but you'll, you may recognize him. He's been in quite a, he's been a, actually a lot of stuff in Hong Kong. Usually as villains. Sometimes as good characters, but usually villains, at least from what I've seen. Uh, and, of course, there's, there's a typical Japanese villain as well. Because, you know... Uh, that's, that's what China's all about. Even even, even before, way long before Hong Kong was taken back by mainland China, it's still... Still a lot of animosity there. Won't get into that. Um, yeah, so yeah, this this released um, as um, King Boxer in, in, in Hong Kong and as Five Fingers of Death in the U.S. Since so I guess King Boxer was considered too much of an Asian title for us. Uh, I just like to call it the full title. King Boxer, a.k.a. Five Fingers of Death, because that's just well, fun to say. Uh, but yeah, this, this is a really fun movie. Good fight scenes. Um, acting is typical melodramatic. Um, like most of these types of movies. Um, so if that turns you off, then don't watch it, but you're not watching this movie for the acting, you're watching this movie for the fight scenes and to the whole martial arts style, and and of course, um, when he learns the iron palm technique, his palms glow red, because that's his chi, you know? His inner power. <laughs> uh, 
Yeah, this this is a very fun movie. Like I said, if you've never really watched a martial arts movie before, then definitely give it a watch. If you if you've watched a lot of more modern martial arts movies and never really watched any of the classic ones, definitely give it a watch. It's certainly dated a bit. Um, it's definitely has a little bit of a cheap look at points. Um, but it's it's still an awesome movie. Badass, ninety minutes, uh, and just, yeah, pick it up. It's an awesome movie. Check it out. King Boxer, a.k.a. Five Figures of Death. Fuck yeah.